have to shave it though, because otherwise it's a little awkward. Unless you're actually doing a real, real tanning process when you, you know, soak it in horrible chemicals till the hair falls out. Right. Like, you know, pee. I'd need a lot of pee to do that properly. Well, drink more coffee. I need more coffee. Not right now, but at some point. Hmm. So what are you currently, uh, constructivating? Things. Things that make us go. <laughs> the things. <laughs> we need things. <laughs> we like things that make us go. I, I wonder if they felt bad about that afterwards. Seriously. Well, okay, um, you know the, uh, like, the third episode of the first season where they go to Planet Black People? Yes. Um, the director got fired halfway through that episode. Wow. For casting it as Planet Black People. Because, as it turns out, the script only called for, like, two guards in the first scene to be African American. So, he got fired because he cast Planet Black People and it wasn't supposed to be Planet Black People. It wasn't supposed to be exclusively planet black people is the thing. Yeah. You know, it was supposed, it was were... supposed to be a typical culturally diverse civilization. I, I said, Not planet Africa. No. Like I said, my uh, my favorite thing was still the episode with the shanty Irish. <laughs> no one understands that anymore, I don't think, unless you're actually from Ireland. I love that episode. But the shanty Irish are the Irish all of the other Irish people look down on. Cause the best thing about the episode is that it's so obvious that it's like three or four separate mini plots that they had floating around and could not make into whole episodes themselves. Yeah, they crammed them together because <laughs> they ran out of ideas. Somewhere someone was sitting back drinking a beer and someone went, Hey, do you have that script ready yet? And he went, Uh, and grabbed a stack of papers. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he just grabbed a stack of papers, stuck the pages together, or shuffled the pages like a deck of playing cards, <laughs> and that was how that episode came about. I, uh, ran across an interesting Tumblr account, uh, recently, mm. called Fashion It So. Mm. And it's basically just, like, an analysis of the fashions in various episodes of Star Trek The Next Generation. Mm. The civilian clothing, not the uniforms. Yeah. And it's actually pretty hilarious. Interesting. You should go take a look at that sometime when you have nothing better to do. I will probably do that at some point, because I can only imagine people that actually know about fashion talking about those. I know a lot of people that are very interested in fashion at the moment, and several that are going to school for it, and I am not in the least interested in it. Mm -hmm. But listening to their rants is occasionally very funny. Though, unfortunately, they think that the really retarded-looking outfits you see in, on runway models are so stylish. Oh, that's have, a shame. I have never been able to figure out why. That's a shame. Why nope, a you think those look good. No, why would a human being think this? I don't know. Now, you said the uh, spawn range on the spawners is three blocks, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Well, this is what Chicks told me. Right, so that should be safe. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna do something other than grab cobble because goddamn, I'm just boring. <laughs> what do I want to do? I should probably start build. Well, I should probably get dirt and start figuring out where else I want to build. How much cobblestone did you get? Uh, there's like a hundred some odd in the chest. It's not too much, but well, it's still uh, quite a quantity. I should go check and see how the uh, pig lead is doing. It is slowly getting there. It's a while away. Well, at least it's spreading. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I should put and we this... don't really need the pigs anytime soon, but I want access. Yeah, if the pigs Plus, drop... if, I rem if I remember right, the uh, pig path is also uh, part way out to the sheep. Yeah, and we need but, those. Yeah, we need, to, we need to get on that sooner sheep or later. At this point, sheep or spiders, I'd take either. Oh, wait, no, this is going out to the sheep. Okay. I bypassed the pig entirely. Maybe there was only the one pig spawner. Yeah. I need right, to, so, sheep. I need to increase the platform width. That way it'll transfer grass faster. Well, it might help, too, if we put some torches down on there. True. 
Okay, That's so... what I should go work on, then. I should go work on the coal. Good God, I have no idea. Ah, it's over there. I was say, I have no idea where this is. Lol. And I'm going to go try to work on the Enderman uh, enclosure. There's a good chance I might just leave the server on at some point when we're not playing for, like, a day to let the grass... <laughs> or to let the grass, you know, work its way out. I don't think anyone would really fault us for that, and if they do, fuck them. I mean, thank <laughs> you for your opinion. Thank uh, you might be a little bit strong. Yeah, yeah. I don't generally try and thank people. For their because opinions. I, no, no, because I don't want their opinions, because they're not mine. No, no, I kid. I generally like people's opinions, as long I, as they're the same as mine. I don't like anyone's opinions. Well, that's fair. But then again, you don't like anyone, so... Because I hate their opinions. That's true, too. I should have brought a pickaxe over here. Mm. Oh, well. I can do without. Mm. Thinking also off-camera, I might redesign the diamond zombie spawner to something much smaller. And just be sensible. Or something more sensible without as huge an out... Or without going for a huge output, something sensible that spawns quickly. But, you know, the spawn time... Well, he's a, I think he told me the spawn times were uh, ramped up a bit on these, but... Hard to tell. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Get in your zombie tube. There you go. Stop bouncing like a dick. There you go. No, nah, but, um... Uh, it's one of those things that, though, this current project has taught me is... I have never in my life known how to use spray paint. Uh... Well, it's a skill. It is one of those skills I will probably never master, because so far I've had about three occasions where I've gone... Damn it, sand, paint... Damn it, sand, paint. Recently, someone asked in a forum what the difference between a skill and a talent was, and I answered a talent as a unit of measurement. <laughs> well, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the best troll answers. Mm -hmm. The ones that are completely true, but entirely useless to anyone. Yeah, those are the great ones. <laughs> uh... I, uh, I, I have gotten a bit on the brain dead side from all of this. Also, the constant inhaling of paint fumes. Well, that's never good. No, it's not. It's led to some major headaches. So it's just, uh, I'm gonna take a little break. Uh, maybe a day or two where I'm not spray painting everything. Yeah, that stuff will get to you after a while. Yeah. Uh, anyhow, eventually you can... Wow, this thing just seems like it stopped spawning. Which one? The dirt. It does that sometimes now. I don't know why. Hmm. I think it's your fault. Probably. That's the easiest solution anyway. Well, yeah. I mean, if you're gonna blame anyone, it's simplest to blame me. Mm-hmm. And usually right. I mean... wonder... Oh, yeah. Oh. I wonder if there's still... Yeah, there's still the spawner range. That's the other thing, too. Because they'll only spawn within a certain range. So, I keep wondering if... Uh, it wouldn't be better to set up a system that funnels them away. Oh, I see. Oh, come on, you little bat. We'll all go there. So let me put that there. Um, all right. I better oh. continue the Enderman thing when it's not so close to sunset. Yeah. Because it's not going to be any fun to uh, have them start spawning around me. 
God, no. All right. Um, yeah, I'll leave this be. I've got to build a walkway around the outside of this, but... Well, that was interesting lag. Oh? I went from walking at a no perfectly normal sedate pace to suddenly bolting. I was like, huh. That's not healthy. That's not healthy at all. But at least the spawning rate may go up a little at night. Hmm. No, surprisingly, my ridiculous contraption over there uh, worked, because the zombies moved towards the doors like I expected. Oh. So I think if I build it on a smaller scale, it'll work just fine. Like, I don't need a row of, like, six or seven doors. I just need one. <laughs> one or two. Uh, and I'll probably go back and rebuild... Go back and rebuild that off-camera sometime, because it's going to take a lot of work, and there's going to be a lot of death. And it's going to be boring work. Like, you know, my gathering dirt. Well, uh, that's, that's part of how this works. Well, yeah. Eh, maybe I'll do it on camera. I don't know. Well, uh, it all depends on what I end up running out of do uh, running out of ideas towards the end of the evening. Uh, I'm trying to think. There was something I was going to mention, and for the life of me, brain. All right. Let's see. Let me see. Yeah, that's a lot of diamonds. Alright, we've got 39 skins. Leather? So, yeah, leather. So, we're going to need... Sugarcane, which is somewhere out there. Uh-huh. And... I don't know where at all. Um... I have to start looking for that. Um, let me put a walkway that is entirely unsafe around this thing. I'll make it thicker later on. That's what she said. Hmm. All right. Um, yeah, I should leave up the back wall here. I'm thinking of... Uh, I will probably never not make a how-to video, but I think when... Or, but I've been taking pictures of, you know, the project as I work on it, and I may just create a little video on YouTube of, this is how Istvan goes insane. Well, actually, this is, you know... I've already been insane, but still. Right. This is what a crazy person does with his free time. That's important, too. Oh, yeah, I mean, if you don't keep busy, you'll go stir-crazy, and being stir-crazy and regular crazy would just suck. Yeah. Where would you find all of the spoons? What do I want to build something out of that? I've got quite a lot of smooth stone from all these monsters. It's a shame there's not really anything to build out of it. So. Well, it can always be turned into cobblestone. That's true. Well, we've got... Through a lot of waste and labor. Yeah, I do like waste and labor. Now... Um, I'll collect a bit more dirt. No point in running back with 12. That is not nearly enough, and I know it. It's not like it's going to miraculously become as much as I need. <laughs> Though that would be awesome. Just for the gl game to glitch and give me a giant pile of, you know, the stuff I need. Yes. Also, the occasional iron ingot drop is like a cookie. It's like, yay, this is kind of useless, but still... It's different.